I'm a mother of three beautiful kids and all these years I have been experiencing something that I want to share with you and that is hair loss, uh, hair loss after birth and while I'm doing this I'm also going to be doing my uh, hairstyle or maybe my routine the normal routine that I normally do on my hair I recently tr I trimmed my hair and I'm trying to regrow it and today I'm using this water that I made, homemade water. This is uh, full of, uh, like, it is pure water together with uh, some cloves. So I left it overnight and I'm just, instead of using normal water, I'm using this one. And also I have some oils here. Let me show you guys. Oh, so I have all the oils here. I have lavender oil. I have uh, castor oil. I have, uh, I have flaxseed oil and rosemary oil together with uh, coconut oil so i'm mixing all of this together and i'll be massaging my hair and i'm gonna make a small uh, style and also talk about this how did i deal about this all these kids that i have all of them three of them as per now and um, i believe i've done giving birth so i'm talking uh knowing that i i won't be getting another baby but after birth okay after I've given my babies like I have given birth I have experienced something common and that is hair loss it has been so common throughout all these kids that I have been having one each by each my eldest son is around 12 years my second born son is actually he's turning actually this week uh, he's turning uh, four four years <laughs> okay and my last born girl she's a girl she just turned two years recently now i'm going to be going through how did i deal uh about losing hair after birth and i want to share my tips that i have been using and actually uh, i have been doing the that has actually helped me to grow my hair beautiful strong and healthier okay so join me as i do this okay let me put these oils here okay so after i'm done with the sprinkling some water on my hair just like this i normally sprinkle 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 i'll go ahead and massage my hair like so and actually just give it a good massage because i want that water to actually uh make my hair damp or maybe not too much dry when i'm doing a hairstyle i don't like when my hair is too dry now dealing with the actually hair loss after after giving birth it is something common that many women normally experience i don't know about you if uh, if you are a lady if you have a baby or you have given birth can you share in the comment section have you ever have you ever experienced these things because i know a lot of women go through this so how how can you handle it especially for new moms because it is something that nobody told me before uh, when I gave birth to my elder son nobody told me that you're gonna experience these things and luckily you are here we're gonna be sharing as ladies to ladies okay if you're a man and you are watching me you have a girlfriend you have a wife call her let her come to see and actually let's have a discussion now the very first thing I want to share with you is actually for you to understand that it is very common okay so my oil all of them i have put here i'll be just uh massaging my hair little by little as we talk now the very first point i want to share with you is that you have to understand as a woman it is very common for most women to undergo the hair loss thing after uh giving birth and sometimes even during the pregnancy or maybe just but mostly after birth you're gonna experience this thing okay so don't be afraid don't start cursing yourself <laughs> don't hurt that baby because uh, most women sometimes especially new moms uh, they think that the baby gave or maybe the baby changed their bodies and they're gonna start feeling like oh you did this to me you did this to me don't do that that baby is a blessing regardless of everything so it is very common for most women to go through these things and you have to understand that once you understand it 
you will relax and understand that you are not alone okay and i know that it can be very 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 uh very strange or maybe very weird especially if you have your hair full of your hair and then you start seeing when you touch your hair like this it's just falling or maybe mostly for me my edges normally go like they just go inside you know i already have um a big forehead and you can imagine when someone who has a big forehead and then the hair start cutting off or maybe lo you are losing your hair you will go crazy like you will feel like ah what is this okay so don't be afraid don't get mad don't get angry it is very common that is the very first thing i want to share with you okay now one thing uh the second thing i want to share with you is actually for you to understand or maybe for you to try as much as possible to use products that uh, can actually make your hair to look more or maybe uh, to add volume on your hair if you have less hair or maybe you see that you are losing a lot of hair and you maybe you want to do a hairstyle try to add in some extensions okay we have a lot of extension hair extension that you can utilize try to use them okay you can find many products on the market that can help you starting with the extensions like i say and add in and just make it look like it is your own hair nobody will know okay even if they know what will they do it is your hair okay nobody cares anyway okay that is the second thing i want to share with you now the third thing i want you to do as a first mom mom maybe you just gave birth and you are experiencing hair loss it is actually for you to try new hairstyles okay for instance you see that you are losing a lot of hair on your forehead uh, on or maybe you are losing your hair on your edges why don't you try a new thing, a new hairstyle that can actually cover that uh, part whereby uh, you are losing hair? You can do it. Okay, there are so many beautiful hairstyles, uh, especially for fussy hair girls. You can watch the YouTube, you can ask a friend, you can go to the salon and you can you can actually learn even you can even learn how to do your own hair without manipulating it and just do something new that you have never done to make you feel better because i know it can be really really uh, be stressing i'm using my key my my little girls these bands so don't be don't be like don't don't get surprised when you see me with too much color okay so that is the third one that i wanted to share with you you can actually try a new hairstyle okay or learn a new hairstyle that you feel comfortable you can even add or maybe use other hairstyles that you have seen or maybe you can actually ask friends or maybe you are salonist to recommend the styles that are best when it comes to actually hair loss okay now i'm trying to make a lines a twist line i don't know if you can see just like that okay this is one of the protective hairstyles that i normally use and i have been wearing it for a long time okay so i'm just going on to make a very simple hairstyle for tonight actually that will protect my hair without manipulating it too much okay now let's talk about something else okay one thing that we normally forget especially for people who have kinky or maybe fussy hair that it is not easy to handle sometimes we are too much uh, hard on ourselves sometimes we are too much on our hair and we forget to be gentle so one thing i will ask you is to be more gentle on your hair okay try to be more gentle try to give that hair some time try to pamper it with different oils and also be gentle when you are making your new style you know we have those people when they are making their styles or maybe when they're handling their hair they're gonna be like you are just doing like this like this that is not good be gentle on your hair okay try to to, to to feel like it is part of your body you cannot get for instance if you have your hand here you, maybe something is here you want to clean it you don't go on squeezing your hand like this you you try to remove gentle like this the same way 
it applies to your hair be gentle on your hair detangle using your fingers and also try to give it time okay to regrow okay so that is another point that i wanted to share with you and it's gonna help you actually not only uh, because you have given birth but also it's gonna help you to grow uh, your hair now something else we normally forget and i want to share with you is actually for you to always practice or maybe always try as much as possible to eat balanced diets okay we can do all of these things that i've shared with you you can change style you can be patient you can do blah 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 buy products but if you are eating just anything for the sake of eating then your hair won't grow and also you will feel like you are you, you're gonna give up on yourself because you need to be uh, healthy for you even to take care of that child okay so it applies also to your hair for your hair to grow you need to eat well you need to eat balanced food you need to drink water lots of water you need to eat fruits you need to balance your hair uh, not your hair your diet you understand what i'm saying eat food that is full of all the nutrients calcium proteins uh, all those vitamins okay try as much as possible to balance your diet even if you are on a budget try as much as possible to make sure that you are eating at least something that will make you uh, full in terms of actually giving you vitamins and minerals and all those things okay so that's what I wanted to share with you and something else is actually for you to always practice self-care okay just practice self-care in a way that um, you are taking care of yourself and you are practicing it in a way that you are not feeling like it is a duty or it is something that is pressuring you do it out of uh, because you love yourself you want to get better okay it's gonna help you even in terms of post postpartum 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 uh, depression or maybe stuff like that okay so I'm trying <laughs> this is the second line I don't know tell me how it looks my style for today tell me how it looks like Tamam us my son is here is making <laughs> some noise and he wa he is asking me something actually tamam okay so last but not least because i know i'm almost done with my style here you have to be patient i think i already said it but also i have to emphasize that you must be very patient with yourself with your hair and everything because taking care of a little baby and on top of that taking care of yourself and your hair especially if you are a person who has a fussy hair like me it can be very challenging and i'm going to put in in fridge you take only little okay uh, so be patient with yourself try as much as possible to make sure that you are not in a rush you are not blaming yourself you're not coming to conclusions like oh it is because of this and this and this is happening oh my hair won't grow you know don't don't rush saying all those words to yourself be patient and understand that it takes time for your hair to grow especially if you have fussy hair like me it's gonna take a lot of time for your hair to grow of course your hair is growing but it's not growing fast as we think because of the genetics and uh, because of our, our hair type okay not everybody's hair grows faster it depends on many factors and if you you can just give yourself some time it's gonna grow okay believe me or not it grows okay so that is a point I wanted to note out and while I finish about that also try as much as possible to actually just thank God okay it is something that we normally forget but for me uh, I just have to tell you this because I know without God we can't do anything try to tell God even if you have little hair on your head like this just little like this tell God thank you God for this little hair because I know thousands of people who don't have hair and they are yearning they, they they just want to see their something like 
uh, hair on their head. We have a lot of people who are actually, maybe because of medical conditions, they are facing a lot of ch challenges. They are going through a lot of things and they are wishing to have some hair on their head, but they cannot. So try as much as possible to tell God, thank you God for giving me this hair on my hair. Give me the patience and the grace to grow it and let me see your goodness on my head, okay? If it is your wish for you for your hair to grow beautiful, to grow longer, to grow healthier, okay? Just thank God and tell God, God, please do it for me, okay? You know, sometimes we normally forget. We pray about everything. We pray about money. We pray about health or maybe we pray about things, but we are not telling God the direct things that we want. Okay, so try to tell God, I want my hair to grow healthier. I want my hair to grow longer. Don't let it to lose, like, don't let me lose my hair. And God answers prayers, okay? So make it a routine to thank God and actually ask God directly exactly what you want, especially when it comes to your body parts, okay? So that is it for today, folks, or maybe friends. I just wanted to share with you my tips when it comes to hair loss after birth. And don't say that it is because of the baby. Don't blame the baby. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't put that anchor of losing your hair, losing your... Because I know when you give birth as a lady, I'm a mother of three and I have gone a lot of things. All my babies I have given birth through Sicilian and it has not been an easy journey because my body has changed totally. I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that I just feel like, oh, I wish it has never happened. But... At the end of the day, I'm so grateful because out of those struggles, out of those things, I have my babies, uh, okay? And they are beautiful babies that I really thank God each and every time just thinking that these are my babies, you know? So don't be afraid, don't, don't blame yourself, don't be hard on yourself. Otherwise, I'm going to leave you here, like I'm going to end the video to go and take care of my little kids to see what they are doing. You can see the boy was here trying to take something from the fridge. And I'll finish up with this style and tell me how it looks like. Tell me, did you like the style? Would you try it? It is a very simple style that you can do, especially if you're stay at home mom and you want to protect your hair. Yeah, you can try it, okay?